So what are you looking forward to tonight about the Virgin Media Shorts Awards? Well, I'm I'm amazed what they can do in like, I'm just intrigued what they can do in two minutes, 20 seconds. It'll be good to see them on a big screen. I mean, it's quite amazing to have a, a film competition for kind of, most of them kind of first time filmmakers and suddenly you've seen it on the biggest screen in London, that's that's quite a thing. The thing I'm most looking forward to is actually seeing um, how people, you know, the guys that have uh, obviously got their film shown tonight, how they, how they take all this in, because I, I can remember my first short film competition coming to London, you know, 20 years ago, and uh, it wasn't quite on this scale. I didn't have photographs of myself up on the wall, but I can remember coming from, you know, the tiny place I was living, and, um, and it, you know, and, and, and so I, I think the thing I'm most looking forward to is seeing them be celebrated and almost this is like for them being at Cannes or something. I'm looking forward to seeing my film on the, on the screen at the IMAX. I mean, that's going to be, that's going to be pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, we went in earlier today just to check it out and it's, uh, yeah, it's amazing inside. Just watching it on the IMAX, really. The, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's, the screen is huge. So, yeah. yeah, we were here for rehearsals earlier and we saw it, so that would be great. Um, there's free popcorn, so anywhere free popcorn, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. It almost feels like a dream and I, I really want to enjoy it because I know before long it'll be tomorrow morning and it'll all be over. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's very, very surreal uh, actually making it this far. And uh, I think seeing the film on the IMAX screen in particular is an amazing delight. Generally, uh, it's an incredibly well-run competition and they really look after you. And uh, I think I'm just looking forward to just sitting back and enjoying the night, really, yeah. yeah. Tell me a little bit about your film. Okay, so my uh, short film is called Touch, um, and it's uh, the story of a couple told through the touching of their hands. So you, from the first time they shake hands and meet uh, to death. So, uh, and it's got all this sort of uh, beats of a re relationship and the meeting and falling out and all that. Uh, so yeah, it's two minutes of a couple's life, uh, yes, with a little twist at the end. So it's a short action homage to uh, Hong Kong cinema and action cinema. Um, to actually prevent it from being as violent or have actually any violence in it, there's actually no contact. So what you'll see is there's a like rock and paper and scissors and all that in there. To replace that at the end of the actual choreography sequence. Our film's called Spring Clean. Um, it's uh, a sort of comedy, I suppose, about uh, a man who finds a magic spray in his house that can make things disappear. And uh, with unfortunate consequences, I suppose. You won the judges as well, weren't you? The films are such a high quality. How difficult was it to do that job? It's impossible, really. I think I'm not a great, you know, I, I don't personally feel like I'm qualified to judge other filmmakers because it's such a subjective thing. But I, luckily, they kind of break it down and they don't ask you to stack them according to preference. They ask you different questions about those things and you kind of come to consensus. So it's not it's not as tricky as it otherwise would be. But I mean, the quality of the films this year was phenomenal. It really was amazing. And the fact that you can show them at the IMAX cinema and they still stand up and hold their place up against huge Hollywood blockbusters is amazing. Obviously I started out making shorts and I've entered them and I've, and I've, I've lost way more competitions than I've won and, and so you know when you're writing those scores down that you, you know, the, the one lovely thing was that I wasn't the only judge and, and I don't ultimately know who's won. Um, obviously, you know, you vote for the ones that, you know, speak to you. If you could give advice to people in the future who'd like to be at the 2014 awards next year, what would you say? Um, I'd say get out, get shooting and shoot something that you really care about because it will definitely show I think in your short. If you've entered, that's the, that's the main thing, actually getting a group of people together and just going I'm just going to do it. Because uh, when we, when we uh, decided to enter there was only 18 days until the competition closed. So we turned it around in three weeks with £500. So there's really, no, you can't use the excuse of we probably won't be good enough, we probably won't have enough money, we probably won't. Just, do, just do it. It's huge, the fact that you can come from having shot something on a handicap and shot something on a, you know, an SLR to suddenly being with all these people, we're having the BFI here, having you know, all the jury members around, and the fact that you can see your film on a huge screen like this, it must be a huge turning point, I think, for people. I would say that, um, honestly, anybody can be here. That's the wonderful thing about this competition. It's open to anyone. They don't care about budget, they don't care if you've got fancy film stars, they don't care about props. Honestly, uh, I made this film by myself, I had no crew, I just had a little tiny DSLR camera which you can buy now for not much money. Uh, so just do it. I mean it's an obvious bit of advice but you don't need the rigmarole, you don't need the crew, you don't need all that stuff. You could just a good idea, some friends, a uh, fun weekend and you know, you could be here.